hello and welcome to my youtube channel Chemvis. in this video we are going to solve a problem based on retrosynthesis here we have to provide the retrosynthetic analysis and then the synthetic route for the given hydroxylactone the molecular formulas of different precursors are given let's go through retrosynthetic analysis for our convenience, I am putting the given information in front. We can see here that the target molecule has the molecular formula C6H10O3. The given information shows that it has been formed from the precursor that has molecular formula C6H12O4. If we compare the molecular formula of target molecule and the molecular formula of precursor, we will find that the precursor has one additional H2O in it. Or we can say that the target molecule has been formed by the removal of one water molecule from the precursor. Thus, breaking up this ester bond and putting H and OH respectively to the negative and positive part suggests that the structure of precursor to be 2,4-dihydroxy-3,3-dimethylbutanoic acid. Breaking up this CC bond suggests that it can be formed from 3-hydroxy-2,2-dimethylpropanol having molecular formula C5H10O2 and CHO2 minus the synthetic equivalent for which is cyanide ion. Breaking up this CC bond suggests that 3-hydroxy-2,2-dimethylpropanol can be formed from isobutyraldehyde having molecular formula C4H8O and formaldehyde with the molecular formula CH2O via aldol condensation. Thus, the synthetic route will involve condensation of isobutyraldehyde with formaldehyde in the presence of trimethylamine in methanol and water to produce 3-hydroxy-2,2-dimethylpropanol which reacts with sodium cyanide in the presence of sulfuric acid in water to produce corresponding cyanohydrine. The cyanohydrine after hydrolysis in the same reaction mixer produces 2,4-dihydroxy-3,3-dimethylbutanoic acid which undergoes cyclization in the presence of H2SO4 in methanol to produce the target molecule. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.